वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट हिट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस फॉर द स्टील सो बिफोर द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द हिट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस देर विल बी द जनरल ले आउट ऑफ द हिट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस चार्ट सो बेसिकली डेट विल बी रिलेटेड विद द आयरन कार्बन डायग्राम फॉर द अप टू द टू परसेंट ऑफ द कार्बन इज बींग प्रेजेंट इन टू द स्टील because heat treatment processes that will be applicable onto the steels so we are only considering up to the a temperature range of the 1130 into the iron carbon diagrams and the weight percentage of the carbon that will be up to the 2 percentage because steel is nothing but it will be the up to 2 percentage of the carbon is being present with the iron so you can say that it will be the hypoeutectoid steel eutectoid steel and hyper eutectoid steel so if you want to learn in details for that hypoeutectoid steel eutectoid steel or you can say 0.8 percentage carbon steel or you can say hyper eutectoid steel so you will find a link in my description box so just you can see it will be the similar to our iron carbon diagram so above 723 it will be the formation of gamma austenite or you can say that will be the Hundred percent solid face of the steels at just above the seven twenty three degree centigrade. So, as per the iron carbon diagram, so this nine one zero to these lines that will be known as a EC three temperature line, or you can say upper critical temperature line. So after this austenite, it will be converting into the alpha ferrite face, and according to the solubility of ferrite with the carbon at higher temperature so here that will be the point of 0.025 percentage of carbon so that will be having a 100 percent solubility to make a single solid phase so that will be known as a alpha ferrite and one more that will be the acm temperature line so at this temperature line this gamma austenite it will be start to converting into the cementite phase so that will be around 1130 temperature line or you can say acm temperature line and one more temperature line is there at around 723 degree centigrade that will be the ac1 temperature line or you can say lower critical temperature line so this all phases it will be before the 0.8 percentage of the carbon so that will be the formation of alpha ferrite plus perlite at 0.8 percentage of the carbon we know that it will be the 100 percent perlite structure, and after that, up to the 2 percentage of carbon, it will be the formation of perlite plus cementite. So this point, it will be 0.8 percentage of the carbon and 723 degree centigrade. So that will be known as a eutectoid point. So the transformation converting from this line, or you can say transformation. it will be passing through this line so that will be the eutectoid steel formation so now if you are increasing the properties of the normal steels either it will be the hypoeutectoid steel either it will be the eutectoid steel or it will be the hypereutectoid steel you will performing the different heat treatment processes then and then you will enhancing the mechanical properties of the steels so let's start today we will only discussing with the normalizing process that will be performing on to the steel so as shown into the diagram normalizing process that will be defining as a heating of your hypoeutectoid steel from 40 to 50 degree above your ac3 or you can say upper critical temperature and for hypereutectoid steel that will be similar 40 to 50 degree above then acm temperature then by the normal cooling or you can say by your air cooling or you can say cooling into the environment so what you get for the hypoeutectoid steel it will be the formation of alpha ferrite plus 
pearlatic structure. If you followed by the hypoeutectoid steel and heating above the 40 to 50 degree from ACM temperature, then once again the normal cooling, or you can say that the air cooling process, so it will be get a pearlite plus cementite structure. But if you work for the 0.8% of the carbon or you can say you take toid steel. So heating your these materials above 723 degree so up to the 40 to 50 degree higher than that to the normal cooling or you can say air cooling. So it will be the formation of 100% pearlatic structure. So pearlite is nothing but that will be the proper mixture of alpha ferrite and cementite. So what is the purpose of this normalizing process or you can say air cooling process. So what you get. So first of all there will be the grain refinement by the eliminating the coarse grain structure. So that will be the soft phase. By this normalizing process you will making a homogeneous microstructure that will be having the segregations in the cast dendritic structure can be reduced. Compared to the full annealing process that will be having a hardened and stronger structure is being found for this pearlatic structure or you can say it will be having a good enough structure than our annealing process. To eliminate the carbide networks which will be into the hyper eutectoid steels to improve the machinability of the low carbon steel. So basically into the normalizing process this temperature involved in this treatment it will be more than that of the annealing process. So what happens the homogeneity of the austenite that will be increasing and that will be the end results so that will be the better dispersions of the ferrite and cementite into the final structure. So that will be give the better mechanical properties. So Depending upon the carbon content onto the steels, the normalizing temperature varies and for hypoeutectoid steels, the normalizing temperature is 50 plus than this ACT temperature and for hypoeutectoid steel that will be from ACM temperature. So in general objectives of the normalizing process and that will be to soften the metals, refine the grain structure improve the machinability, improve the grain size and improve the structure of the whale or you can say the prepare the steel for the sub heat treatment process. So this will be all regarding for the normalizing process or you can say the air cooling process. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.